Hello, I am Noah Holman. I am a senior physics major here at Troy. Um, we're working on the Brewster's Angle experiment today. Hi, my name is Joshua Flingay. I am a junior here of the major of EE, electrical and electronics engineering. I'm also here to help with the experiment. All right, and uh, what we got here, we have this laser right here. It is uh, shooting um, towards this uh, piece of glass right here. Um, and this measures the intensity it's outputting from the glass there. And what it's doing is that glass will reflect some light towards this panel right here. And this angle right here is known as Brewster's angle. Um, and what that does is it shows the uh, angle of incidence from this panel right here. And um, the, uh, the light shining through there is the uh, polarized light coming out of that. So when it, when it shines out from the laser, it's unpolarized. When it hits that, uh, that glass panel and reflects back, then it becomes fully po polarized. And what that means is uh, the light wave traveling is only in one direction. So it can either be up and down, left and right. It can be all sorts of angles. But once it's polarized, it can only be in one specific angle. So let's say it's up and down for right now. Once that angle, um, once it's, uh, this, see it too, the light. once it's uh, uh, fully polarized, what you can do is change the angle of uh, the uh, slit that it's going through. Um, and that changes the intensity of the light coming through, as you can see on that panel right there. Um, and that wouldn't be possible if uh, it was going in all sorts of directions there. So that's only one, one uh, polarized wave there. Since it's one wave, that's why this is effective and it works. If it was multiple waves, it would be a lot more complicated. So that's why we have this glass to separate that so that we can actually um, change the concentration of the laser. 